Hello, welcome to exercise two of lesson 16. The program that we need to write here is to count by twos from zero to 16 as shown below. So we can see the output here counting by twos. We want to preface it with the text the current number is. Um, and again, you can accomplish all of this stuff by just single line print statements over and over again, but a loop is a much more efficient way to do it. Uh, so inside of the main method, we're going to have a integer with our number. That's going to hold the current number that we're trying to output. Then we're going to have a for statement. We're going to initialize the number at zero, and we're going to run this loop as long as the number is less than or equal to 16. So whenever it pops higher than 16, the loop is going to stop. Uh, and then each time we pass through, we're going to increase the number by two. So in this case, we're not incrementing by one. We're actually incrementing by two because we're trying to count by twos. And then the single guy that's going to execute in here is the current number is space, and then we're going to print the number. So let's go ahead and save. Let's go ahead and run this guy. And let me drag it up and show you where we're at. So the current number is 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. That matches exactly what we were trying to do. So again, for loops are not complicated. Now, admittedly, the programs that we're writing up to this point are pretty simple because we're trying to give you the building blocks, but soon you'll be combining for loops with if statements with lots of other kinds of things to make more complicated programs. Uh, so we're going to build our steps each and every way to get there. But for now, here's how you create the simple for loop to execute what we have here on the screen. 